people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news that we see that the Sunrise Florida Popo, they are investigating a shooting that took place. We are speaking about on about 1.10 a.m. on the 23rd of May 2020 at a place called Pepper Seed. And we are speaking about a Jamaican restaurant that is located at 7776 Northwest 44th Street. We are talking about Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now, when we listen to the name of that club, we are speaking about Pepper Seed. Was that a telltale sign? Was that an indication that the place could have get hot? And um, people, in that case, it did get hot, point blank and period. And based on the information, it is said that at least five Jamaicans pick up tack and they were taken to several or separate hospitals. And people, it is said that when the poor poor roll upon them or took them to the place of recovery and asked for information of who might be the suspects in this case, nobody had nothing to say. Everybody was silent. Everybody was mum. So people, that leads us to the logical conclusion that this is some sort of D-R-U-G-S-R gang activity. It is associated or affiliated or that is the possible motive, point blank and period. Now people, as usual, you know that I have the videos and people, they have a saying that goes something like this. Chicken Mary, hark the near. Now what this means is that when you think that it is peace and safety, it is a sudden destruction. So people, take a listen, take a look at the first video, and then I'll give my peace. Birthday, more life. Big up all of them on the internet that join the party right now. A hey, party shot, hey, party shot, now like. But my friend, birthday party, talk shoot. South Florida is number one. Fire Reds, my boss, my friend for more than 19 years to be counting, yeah. That year I'm 19, what them feel like? My real friend, from them time that till now, for you just come a foreign. I want to take some Watch my friend, birthday party, everybody, everybody out. we outside. Watch my friend, birthday party, more life, my boss. Feel like more life and prosperity. Eh, hey, yes, no, 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 However, we know how to party responsible. We are talking about the ones that are not careless. And when we take into consideration that we are still in this pandemic, we are talking about the COVID-19 and people are supposed to stay at them yard and make sure that so they don't spread this thing. It seems like as soon as the governor of Florida free up the place, these Jamaicans them couldn't wait to go out and show off themselves and act up and act a fool. And people, that is exactly what you heard because you hear the pie pie them in the background after persons were celebrating and boosting up themselves and showing off themselves. And I've also come to the logical conclusion that the least productive persons in society, them always have the most time for party and idle. And people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. If you work hard and you want to celebrate yourself, there is nothing wrong with this. However, it seems like most people that are hustlers, most people that are drug thief, or most people that are smugglers, them party every weekend, them party every day. And people, like we say, this is a dis destructive lifestyle because at the end of the day we see that person are always getting shut up or hurt at these events we are speaking about where there is too much jamaican may i talk about the eagle jamaican so people that was video one take a listen take a look to video number two take him all right let's go Wait, what you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, we understand. But, oh, I'm not in your space, though. You hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, not in your space. Right yeah, but I'm not in your space. Not in space. Right. Trust me, I know my I'm rights. Not I'm not in your space. Okay. All right, don't tell me I'm not in your space. Right now, all right? All right. I have a legal argument with you. All right. But we need, we need this stand for us. Stay away from us. Exactly. 
We don't need no virus to stay away from us. Trump says stay away from us. Hey, stay over here, man. Let him go. You're, 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 up, you're 10 feet you and you're good. We know they laugh. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going to let you leave the plaza, so relax. Why we can't? Now, people, your hero, dance and fofo, these Jamaicans are. You hear the popo, or you see the popo doing their job after five people pick up tack. And you hear these Jamaicans in some sort of conflict or verbal altercation with them because they know them rights and chumps said this and chumps said that. And the truth is that if we really took the facts into consideration, if it was up to chumps, most of these Jamaicans, they would be deported. We are talking about back to Jamaica where they basically belong because everywhere them go, them bring them bad attitude, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word, don't put any space between the words. And also, I am going to be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please to press the notification bell or icon. And also, press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that some two foot posts, some two foot aina, them try for ice up a place. We are speaking about a business establishment. We are speaking about a wholesale in Linson. We are talking about St. Catherine. And people, little did they know or did they care that they were on candid camera. We are talking about CCTV, closed caption TV. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Now, if you notice at the start of this video, you saw at least five or six persons we are talking about some two foot posts walking around and you notice that they look fidgety, them look bummy, them look nervous because they knew that they were doing something wrong. And your sister, them try to pry off the door, may I talk about broke off the door and they were going back and forth, looking over the fence, looking over the wall, looking through the gate, hoping that nobody would basically see them doing their bad act. 
However, if your attention span was not short and you were patient enough, you could see close to the end of the video that somebody started to bake up some corn on them. And people, I don't know if it was the owner of this establishment or if it was we are talking about security, we are talking about Akai or we are speaking about one of those security companies. Me no know. But all we know is that we saw this person basically pick up them foot them and, and take with themselves. We are talking about like some scared here. They were out of here, point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. These new millennials, we are talking about these little young thief. They hate to work. All they want to do is take people things the easy way. And like I always say, whatever comes easy, goes easy. And that includes your life. However, in this case, I am not sure if anybody pick up any sort of talk, anybody got hurt or anybody got slapped away. But hopefully at least one or two of them pick up some talk. However, that is yet to be determined. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.